know look this good. Oh, okay. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We about to install this wig from Beauty Forever Hair. You know I'm starting off with my ruby kisses. Now let's put the wig on. Y'all, this wig is not big hair friendly. I do have a big head, so I'm going to have to start telling the companies that when I order or get a wig from them. Yeah, but other than that, this was a great wig. It was a nice lace and hair density, and I will get it again. But in my right size, of course. <laughs> Y'all, look at this. I ripped the lace. Oh my God. <laughs> but if you know, you know. Your girl know how to finesse a wig that has been ripped. This is not my first time I ripped the lace on the wig. But this is my first time on camera. So, disregard. I'm going in with my Erica J Hold Me Down in the watermelon scent. Because I like the smell. And I'm going to do three layers. And then right here, I tried to put glue up higher, but I'm not sure if it was going to stick because that is my hair instead of my skin, but we'll see. We're going to see. Now let's pull it down. You know what that uh, voice on TikTok say? I'm having one of those moments. I'm having one of those moments. Y'all, this stressed me out real bad. It did not lay down the first time because I was trying to figure out where it went. So I'm going back in with more glue. This time, I'm going to blow dry it so that I know that it'll dry. I'm laying it down, it left a little slit in the, in the middle because the wig is small, still small, but we can make it work. I had to cut some of this lace on my face because baby, I cannot see and I need to be careful before I rip it again. But yeah. <laughs> And on this side, I left a little extra lace on it so that I can lay the baby hairs when I do them. Me and middle parts be having a time, but this is how I do my middle parts. I start with the middle of my nose and try to go straight back 
as much as I can. If not, I will. Use that wax stick to lay y'all hair down to make it flat as it can be. Now I'm going to pull out my baby hairs. And to get them even, I try to measure them with my fingers, but yeah. And on this side, I try to do the baby hairs to where it'll cover up the slit at the same time. And you know, not that much because we still want to camouflage that part right there. going in with my spritz so we can comb all the hairs back and so that they stay Now I'm sectioning my hair to go in with the wax stick to make sure everything is flat flat. Scalp. <laughs> now I'm going to pluck the baby hairs out some more because I don't want them thick I want them a little thin as you see in some spots it's thick so yeah we're going to fix that part I'm using my scissors to cut my baby hairs this time because I couldn't find my razor, but either way, they'll come out fine. This is not the flat iron that everybody uses, but this is the flat iron that I use and it gets the job done. It still curls my baby hairs how I want them, so... I always use Nairobi foam for my baby hairs. Now I'm trying to part the back out a little so that when I do the style, I don't want none of the tracks showing on the wig. I decided that this style here will hide the slit as you can see it will hide the slit and still give me a cute style at the same time this is the style I'm going for like twist on both sides Now 
they're not as perfect as I want them, but I'm just doing them so I can go ahead and curl the rest of my hair and then I'll come back to them. I put more foam on my baby hair so that I can tie them down. Now I'm going in with my favorite ones, by Bedhead. I do not know what size they are, but they get the job done and I like the size that my curls come out to be. Because I can do this and it's still gonna look like I curl them with a curler now, so. Now I'm going to use spray dye to clean up my part in a dark brown color. I'm going to fix the top how I want it. I need the twist to be tight, as you can see. Instead of using a bobby pin, I use a rubber band because it was like they was coming apart with the bobby pin, so I'm using a rubber band instead. Using my LA Girls Concealer to make my part straight. Spray the spritz to flatten the top even more because, y'all, I was not taking these twists down to redo them. They just needed a little spray, you know. And I'm going in to cut my baby hair some more because they're a little long and not how I want them. So I'm just cutting them a little. Going in with my got to be gel to put them on my baby hair so they'll stay because when I use the foam, I use the foam to lay them down and then comb them back out. So now I'm molding them with the gel.
And this is the final look. Y'all know every time I finish doing my hair, I gotta do a little photo shoot, like somebody taking a picture of me. But y'all see it? Y'all see it? You can't even tell that I ripped the links. Oh, don't worry about the baby hair on the side, but yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the video. Bye!